Morning everyone, it's Laura T at Dream Deals 123 on eBay. I'm the Silver Owl Thrifter on YouTube and I made $84 last night. Let's break it down and see how much sold. And I apologize for all the confusion. I'm trying to get some storage issues figured out. So if I cut off it before it looks like I'm over, I'm sorry. Um, but I think I freed some up, so I think I'm gonna be okay today. I say that every day. All right. But today, it says I have five gigabytes or kilobytes or something. So I sold this Coldwater Creek. I've had it listed for four years. All right, now my computer. Oh, there we go. All right, Coldwater Cleek Floral Button Denim Jean Jacket, Women's 8. And I sold this for $10 plus $6 shipping. I paid a dollar for it. And I made, they paid 16, I made seven. And like I said, I just took an offer, somebody offered and I was like, oh my gosh, finally, finally, somebody wants it. This is, Old Navy, which, you know, some of the pieces are, are good. I'm starting to look at Old Navy. Old Navy, dark blue and white, Fair Isle. That's this kind of style with a snowflake look, Nordic kind of look. Button-up sweater, extra large cardigan, and then I put deer, elk on there. I don't know if those are deer or elk. Got to cover all my bases. And this sold for $14 plus six for a total of 20. I paid a dollar for that and I made 10 on that. Oh, do I got stuff to talk about later. Holy cow. Like I said, we make the mistakes so you don't have to. Hope everybody's doing okay. Okay, Altered State. I find this once in a while. Um, you know, I got excited when I first saw it, but it, I don't know, it's good, it's fair, but I paid up for this. I paid $5 for this, which for a dress is not bad. Look at this. It's pretty. Altered State maxi dress, small blue floral lined, boho cottage core resort. So I put it on there thinking people could wear that at a resort. Really nice. Looks like something you wear in Hawaii, something tropical place. So I paid five for this. They paid 15 plus five for a total of 20 and I made seven. Now I am just taking offers just about everything because I wonder, I'm really starting to get the fear of moving. <laughs> put into me a downsizing and I was thinking about it and I'm gonna well I'll just talk about that briefly now um you know I'm th I was thinking today I was like I got so much to do so much to do I'll, I'll wait I'll wait till we get closer to the moving date but then I was thinking you know I have to get it done why not start on it now and start getting organized now and then I won't feel so crunched so I'm really going to start doing that and that may include Stopping sourcing. I just might need to stop sourcing and get everything organized. So, um, cause I'm moving next year and I think we're going to move to a much smaller place. <clears throat> and so it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Logo by Lori Goldstein. And this is kind of a velvety look and it's got pockets and some lace on the bottom really pretty uh wait a minute is this the right one? Oh my goodness why do i have tank top here i grabbed the wrong Lori goldstein well it's like this with fringe and everything and very pretty but it's a tank top <laughs> oh. okay I sold a logo by Lori Goldstein, tank top women 3X black. Oh, it's not like this at all. Tunic, gold lace, hem, ran stripes. So I grabbed the wrong thing. I just saw the Lori Goldstein and uh, I didn't even read it. 
So anyways, I sold that for 22 plus five for 27 and I paid two and I made 16 on that. So that was good. Now this one I didn't make a lot on because I kind of missed when, and I got the offer. Make sure this is it. This is silk. It doesn't feel like silk. It feels like cotton. Okay, Silk Blend. Okay, I have Silk Blend in there, yeah. Lily Pulitzer, now see how you can see, this is a classic Lily Pulitzer print, the pinks and the greens. So if you see this on the uh, rack, just walk by and you're just perusing the store for that initial grab all the goodies that you can spot initially tour like I do. Uh, check out, check it out, there's her iconic label now when i got the offer when i get the off, off when i got the offer i thought that this dress had a stain on it but i don't think it it does not so i kind of took a low offer but that's okay um this is a repeat buyer okay actually i think i well this is kind of lucky i'll tell you about that later um anyways I'm getting off track now, but okay, let's read this. Lily Pulitzer Pink Green Claire Silk Blend Dress Medium Floral Cap Sleeve. It's when they have a little sleeve on top, but on the bottom, it's like it's sleeveless. And then it might go all the way here, you know, just up like that. Cap Sleeve, Medium Floral Cap Sleeve. And I made, I paid five for this, so I paid up. They paid 16 plus five. For 21, I made eight. So I didn't make too much on that. Um, so I made 84 gross total and 41 net for a total gross this year, 24,929. Net, 12,998. Two away from dancing for the 1,000. All right, I wanted to talk about the ground advantage and there seems to be confusion myself included when i first heard about ground advantage i didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it because it seemed to me like okay ground advantage is replacing first class i didn't really care about retail ground or parcel select because i didn't really use them didn't give it much thought but then i was using it for the first day or two and it was very seamless and everything i didn't have to do anything except choose it uh, or it just was automatically instead of first class but um, I think I was expecting it maybe in my mind to be more and it wasn't. So it felt like the cost was less on first class. But here's the thing. The, the first class looks like it's exactly the same with a couple of it with what? Well, there's one great thing I found out yesterday. Yesterday I had two packages. Each one weighed one pound exactly. Now, you know, in the past when you have a one pound package it cannot it couldn't go at the first rate first class rates you would have to get a priority or a priority flat rate or something else if it was 15.9999 it could go first class so i was looking at it and it said well you could use ground advantage and the ground advantage rate is very comparable to first class it was you know, priority is usually always over $7 for me. And this, these were each $6 and seven cents. And if I had shipped them priority, uh, they would have gone. I wrote it all down yesterday, of course. Uh, they would have gone for like seven twenty or something like that. So that's really great news. And now if you, so, so if you have a one pound exact package, check the ground advantage rate. It's probably going to save you money. And if it's like 1.1, try to get it down to one pound. One pound. Now that 1.1 is new one pound. So you're going to want to take out the wrapping or put it in a different box. Or you can, if it's in a box, you can cut the little cardboard flaps, like two of them. You know how it's got the four flaps? Cut two of them off. See if you can get an ounce off that package and get it to one pound ground advantage. So I was really excited about that. And then, and yesterday I put a, a link into Shed Flips and they explained it very well too. And 
So for ground advantage now for over a pound, the rates are, are substantially cheaper in some instances. In some instances, they seem to be a little bit more, but for a lot of clothing resellers who are selling in that maybe under five pound range, I think we're gonna save some money, people. I think we're gonna save some money. Oh, and kind of funny story, but I had to go into the post office the other day. I had to send a letter to Canada to my sister, and I asked the postal lady there, who was very nice, I said, could you tell me, and this was after, this was on the 9th, I believe, I said, could you tell me about Ground Advantage? And she said, you know, we they didn't tell us anything about it. We don't know anything. We didn't even, like, it was like she just found out that day that it was a thing. So she was really frustrated. Uh, so don't always be upset, I guess, with our postal workers if they seem like they don't know what's going on because it sounds like maybe that it's a management issue and they're not teaching them enough. And and uh, anyway, so that happened and just another... So anyways, that's about it on Ground Advantage. Okay, I want to keep this short because um, I don't want to, it, it, it to take all day to load. So sorry to like burden you guys and talk about this all the time. I know it's like, you're probably like, nobody else talks about all their problems. What's your problem? But <laughs> I don't know. So anyways, um, but I wanted to say one more thing. Gosh, and I don't know, you know, with this video problem and having to delete videos and losing videos and losing stuff, I don't even know what I've told you guys at all. But the other day I did a video and I talked about this dress and I was really excited about it because it's like this, got this, what is this called? Crinoline or something under here where it's really big and, and like sturdy, stiff, like dress here. And then it's a dance, it, it looked like a dance dress to me. And so I, and I paid up for it because I did a search that it's called Rhythm. So I put in Rhythm Dance Dress and all of these comparables came up in the hundreds of dollars and I just looked at it and I was like, oh, okay, get it right away. Even though I paid up, I paid uh, $14 for it, which is way up for me. And then I go and do my really thorough sell through the next day and come to find that Rhythm is not the name of all of these, the, it's not the um, brand name of all these high-end dresses that were sold. These were Latin Rhythm dresses and it just, it's one of those weird names of a brand that you put something in like if a brand is named blue you it's almost impossible to search for that brand and it's the same with this i thought that this was that all of them were rhythm brand so i can't find anything like this it's, i think this is some kind of dress uh, for ceremonies in india perchance because it was made in india but I don't know if I can get very much for it, and I don't, I, I may just return it, I don't know. But that's why I, I, it's so important to try to really do that thorough look before you buy. But anyways, I am gonna go because we're at 13 minutes and I wanted to keep this actually to 10, and I am gonna uh, maybe make some more videos about the ground advantage but uh, I think it's really, really great news for resellers. I think we're gonna save some money. What do you think? Are you saving money? Are you noticing that you're saving money? And I would suggest read the eBay update that they send you because um, that's, that's a good thing to do. All right, I will see you guys in the next one.